Adidas and Puma are two iconic sportswear companies that have their roots in a small German town called Herzogenorik. The story of these two companies is not only a tale of success, but it is also one of rivalry and family feuds. In the 1920s, two brothers, Adolf and Rudolf Dossler, started a small shoe company in Herzogenorik called Gebruder Dossler Shoe Fabric, Dossler Brothers Shoe Factory. Their business was a success, and their shoes were worn by many athletes. During the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, the Dossler brothers supplied shoes to many athletes, including American sprinter Jesse Owens who won four gold medals. However, after World War II, the relationship between the two brothers deteriorated, and they eventually split their company in 1948. Adolf continued to run the original company, which he renamed Adidas, a combination of his first and last name, while Rudolf founded a new company called Puma. The rivalry between the two brothers was intense, and it soon extended to the whole town. The town of Herzogenorik was divided into two camps, with people either supporting Adidas or Puma. It was said that even the local barber would ask which brand a customer supported before cutting their hair. Despite the feud, both companies were successful and grew rapidly. Adidas focused on developing innovative products for athletes, and their shoes and apparel became popular worldwide. Puma also made a name for itself, particularly in the world of soccer. In the 1970s, Adidas was the top sportswear company in the world, but Puma was not far behind. However, the death of Rudolf Dossler in 1974 marked a turning point for Puma, and the company struggled in the following years. Meanwhile, Adidas continued to innovate and expand their product line, and they remain one of the leading sportswear companies in the world today. In recent years, there have been some attempts to heal the feud between the two companies. In 2009, the town of Herzogenorik held a soccer match between employees of Adidas and Puma, which was seen as a symbolic end to the rivalry. However, the legacy of the Dossler brothers and their companies continues to fascinate people around the world. Adidas and Puma Adidas and Puma succeeded for a number of reasons, including, innovation. Both companies were known for their innovative products. Adidas, for example, was the first company to create a lightweight soccer boot, while Puma was known for its form stripe design which became an iconic symbol of the brand. Branding. Both Adidas and Puma created strong brand identities. Adidas, for example, used its three-stripe logo and sponsored high-profile athletes, such as soccer player Franz Beckenbauer and tennis player Stan Smith. Puma also sponsored athletes, including soccer player Pele, and used its distinctive logo to create a strong brand identity. Product quality. Both companies were committed to producing high-quality products, this helped to establish their reputation and gain the trust of athletes and consumers around the world. Marketing. Adidas and Puma both used clever marketing tactics to promote their brands. For example, Adidas created the Impossible is Nothing campaign, which featured high-profile athletes discussing the challenges they had overcome. Puma, on the other hand, used edgy and provocative advertising campaigns to appeal to a younger audience. International expansion. Both companies successfully expanded their businesses internationally, which helped to increase their customer base and revenue. By the 1960s, both Adidas and Puma had become global brands, with distribution networks and customers in countries all over the world. Overall, Adidas and Puma's success can be attributed to a combination of factors, including innovation, branding, product quality, marketing, and international expansion. Despite the feud between the two companies, their success has had a significant impact on the sportswear industry and the world of sports. I hope you enjoyed the story please like and subscribe to our channel comment if you like content.